Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE12933 here, and in today's CCNA practice exam and live lab, we're going to take a look at OSPF router types and commands. I'm going to present you with five practice exam questions, some have multiple choice and some do not, on OSPF. We're going to go through the questions pretty quickly, so if you need to pause the video, feel free to. And then I'm going to show you the answers in action on live Cisco routers and switches. And today we're going to stick with the routers because we are talking about OSPF. I also hope you'll join me on Twitter, YouTube, our blog, and on Facebook for daily practice exam questions, videos, and all kinds of fun stuff. Now the first question I have for you here is a short answer question. What exact OSPF command will place a loopback interface with the IP address 1111 into Area 5 and will do so for absolutely no other interface? So we've got a command there we need that's only going to put that one IP address into Area 5. Let's take a look at question two. What router type is defined as a router whose interfaces are all in the same area. Is it internal, ABR, ASBR, or backbone? Next question, what is the default priority of an interface on an OSPF segment? Doesn't matter what kind of interface it is, it's got a default priority, what is it? What type of OSPF router is defined as at least one area, or excuse me, one interface in area zero, and connects other areas to area zero? And while you look at the commands or the options here, ASBR, ABR, internal, or backbone, as an extra credit question just off the cuff, give me one command that will verify that a router is this particular kind of OSPF router type. So we want to know what kind of router it is, and we need to know a way to verify it. Always trust, but always verify. Finally, in the command router OSPF1, what exactly does the number one refer to? Is it the autonomous system, the process number, the domain number, or the area number? Hmm. Sounds like we got some good stuff there. So let's head back to this particular command that we're looking for that will put a loopback interface with that particular IP address into area 5 and will do so for absolutely no other interface. And I've got a live OSPF config here, just a quick hub and spoke network. Router 1 is our hub and 2 and 3 are the spokes. We're not getting too much into that detail here in this practice exam, but I did run this of course because we always make sure before we start a lab that we have our OSPF adjacencies, and we do. So first off, let's create that loopback. I believe I've already got a loopback on here. And that is loopback 5. It doesn't have an IP address on it. And I created that. That wasn't there by default. Let's give it that IP address of all ones. And there we go. So now we need to know how to enter that particular address into our OSPF config without introducing any other IP addresses at all, any other networks. So what we're going to do is use the network command, which with OSPF, as you know, can get a little long-winded. Now we're going to put the network number, and we're going to go ahead and just put that exact octet there. And now we're using wildcard bits, and if you want to put one IP address into OSPF and no others, you use a mask here of all zeros, or wildcard bits of all zeros. So now we're not done yet because now we have to put the word area. Then the area ID is a decimal value. We're not going to get cute and put it in IP address format. And then finally we're done. So that is the actual command. That matches one address and one address only when you use a wildcard mask of all zeros. So let's just quickly verify that down on router 2. We'll just do show IP route. And you can see that it is successfully being advertised out, and I'm sure we could ping it. But we'll trust but verify. There we go. And notice the IA here. It's a little extra bonus here for you in this video. That IA, remember, is OSPF inter area, meaning that it is an OSPF route and it's in another area. So that is the exact command. Let's go to question two. An OSPF router with all its interfaces in the same area is an internal router. 
Let's take a look at the next one. What's the default priority of an interface on an OSPF segment? Let's bring the routers back up, and I'll go back up to router 1, show IP OSPF. I believe we can do this. Yeah. Show IP OSPF, and then I followed it with interface serial 0, which is the interface on this router I'm using in OSPF. And you get a lot of good information here. And right here is the priority of that interface, and it's 1. That is the default, and that's where we get into the DRBDR election. You can also see that this router is the designated router for that segment, and that's what we like with Hub and Spoke is for the Hub to become the DR. Got another video on YouTube about that as well. So we've covered that default priority. Now, what type of OSPF router is defined It has having at least one interface in Area 0 and connects other areas to Area 0? That's an area border router, an ABR. Now, we didn't have any ABRs until I just introduced that one network from into Area 5. So I believe now Router 1 is an ABR. We'll verify that in a moment. An ASBR, by the way, an Autonomous System Border Router, that is an OSPF router that is performing route redistribution. The actual route redistribution is beyond the scope of the NA. If you're working on your NP route exam, it's definitely not out of the scope of that. But the key here is that an ASBR is performing route redistribution. Let's call that rack back up. And let's see what we're going to take a look at. Show IP OSPF. This is going to give you some good info as well. Again, I looked at OSPF on the interface here with Show IP OSPF Interface Serial 0. With the next command, I just ran the more general command Show IP OSPF. And you'll notice it does say it is an area border router. I would not be uh, thinking on the CCNA exam. Do not try to take a router in there and build that. Uh, you better know that particular definition. That's an important one. It has at least one interface in area 0 and connects other areas to area 0. And then finally, we just saw the answer to this one as well, but we'll also verify it with iOS help. What exactly does that number 1 refer to? Well, it's not the autonomous system because that's EIGRP. When you see the command router EIGRP 500 or whatever number you put in there, that number is the autonomous system. It's not the area number because we do that with the network command. We saw that earlier. We put the area in there. Uh, we're not really using domains, so that's kind of narrowing it down here a bit. Do we use processes? Let's see. Yes, we do because you'll notice the output of show IP OSPF even mentions what routing process you're using. The word is actually even used there, and it's saying OSPF1. Also, let's go into the OSPF config itself, and if you use iOS help here, as you always should, if you've got a question, you can see that the actual number we put here after router OSPF is that process ID. So that is it. Some good stuff there for your CCNA and your CCNP commands. Hope you enjoyed this particular video practice exam. It's a new line of videos we've got coming out. And you can see the latest and the greatest in the series and my other past series on Twitter, YouTube, and our blog, and links from my Facebook page. Thanks for joining me for this video practice exam. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE12933.